everybody. Hey, everybody. This is Demar Self 2. Welcome to another edition of the Fighting Peaches. On this edition of the show, we will be playing the presser from Georgia State football head coach Dell McGee at the opening of fall training camp. As always, to follow everything that, that we do, you can head to the mothership to sportsinquire.net, Pyramid site for news and notes in the world of sports. You can also go to our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Just look us up under the Sports Inquire or eMarcel Pertut. And finally, go to our audio and video providers such as YouTube. SoundCloud, Spotify, and more. Same thing. Just go to the Sports Inquirer. Just look us up under the Sports, under the Sports Inquirer or Emar Self Pursuit. You'll be able to keep track of everything that we have going on. On this edition of the Fine Peaches, we are going to show you the presser from Georgia State Football Head Coach Del McGee. As the team opened up fall camp a few days ago, we were able to attend and see what was going on in downtown Atlanta. We can get straight to the presser, and I'll have my comments and thoughts afterwards. Here is Coach McGee. Without you all, our football team and our university wouldn't get any coverage. So much appreciation to the media. Love that you all come out and support, show, and show our fans uh, what we got coming. Um, always first day is always an enthused time. Kids came up with a lot of energy, juice, uh, very excited. Uh, still got a lot of work to do, but I was very pleased with our guys pushing through the elements. Uh, it was quite humid uh, this morning. Um, really, really, the guys and the leadership showed up where it needed to be, but we still got a long way to go. With that, I open up for questions. No questions? Now, how did it feel? The front, we've talked so much. You've had media days and all these different press conferences, but now you're finally on the field uh, with the guys. How did it feel first day? Oh, it was great. I said, that's the, the main part of camp is to kind of get some continuity, uh, get some bonding and connection, uh, find out who's going to push through the uh, the elements, who's going to uh, become a leader and be that vocal piece on both sides of the ball that, that you need. Uh, our coaches getting on the same page with one another, uh, just the transitions and intensity and the attention to detail that's required for us to be successful, uh, I thought was a, a good first day. We still got a long way to go from that standpoint, um, but we kind of kind of slacked off as practice went on. I think the break helped us to regain our focus. Uh, like I said, I appreciate the kids for finishing through those elements. What's your message to your team uh, about this time of year? What's kind of the, the you know start of, of camp, start of practice message? Yeah, our theme this uh, camp has been uh, habits, creating great habits, on and off the football field, being on time, um, making sure we develop mental and physical toughness, and connecting as an entire organization. So those are the three uh, bullet points for our goals to get through camp. If we can connect and grow closer together, if we can learn the habits of how to be a pro, how to do a walkthrough, how important it is in film study to pay attention to not fall asleep uh, and just get every single detail that we can from every unit, then we'll be moving in the right direction. Just like anywhere, you have to hit the ground running, but I feel like you had to do that more so than a lot of people, and it was a fast start for you. How do you feel like it's gone since that point? It's gone fine. It takes what it takes. Uh, we don't create any excuses. I think our coaches did an outstanding job from spring to transition into summer to acquire new players. And, and now we got a new team. And now we got to get this team ready to play on August 31st. But we're trying to keep the main thing, the main thing, and that's just each day. So for the rest of the day, we got meetings and walkthroughs. Got to make sure we're locked in there, and then we'll transition in tomorrow. You mentioned it a little bit. The coaches have gone out, done the work, gotten some players to come here. So these transfer players, you have a lot on the roster. How can that be beneficial for you this fall? Well, it's beneficial because we're all in competition. I feel like we got competition at every single position. Uh, we really don't have a quote-unquote depth chart. We call it the rep chart. We're going to try to provide reps for the entire team so we can develop, evaluate, and then identify who's going to win those starting jobs. And it all starts with how you do everything, are you making mistakes, do you play clean football, do you make the checks, uh, 
can secure the football, who can be trusted the ball, and that's up to the coaches to evaluate what has processed and then put our players in the best situation and provide the players touches that warrant those touches by what they do on the field. You mentioned getting the team ready for August 31st. What does it do for your team to, to start with, you know, a, a, such a well-known program that's, that's right up the road? Oh, it's great for our program. Uh, Coach Key's done a tremendous job there. Got much respect for him. He kind of comes out of the same, same with Coach Smart Tree, so I understand they're going to work just like we are. Um, we're just really going to focus on today and uh, make sure you keep the main thing the main thing. Coach, how much, uh, so much has things gone in together and the, the team that you see and the recruiting. How much have you looked forward to just getting back to the X's and O's things that go on with you? Uh, I feel like the X's and O's will take care of itself with time. Um, we're still in a install mode, so there's a lot being thrown at our, our kids. So they're going to make mistakes uh, because we're going to throw a lot at them and challenge them in that way. So we're preparing to see multiple things. Uh, so we have to prepare our defense for certain things. And our defense has to pair our offense for certain things. So it's a team approach. Uh, my main thing with the new team is making sure we get connected, know one another, know each other's wives, so we can build upon that and make sure we're playing for our brother, know why we're playing for our brother. You have a pretty crowded uh, quarterback room. I think of five on the roster. What 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 play? What does a player have to do to, or what are you looking for in that starter to earn that position? to you know, be the starter heading into that Georgia Tech contest? What are some things that are going to have to show you to uh, earn that spot? Yeah, definitely make, making the correct reads in the passing game, uh, checking to the correct run in the run game. Uh, then how, how do you lead the offense? How do you respond to, to adverse times? Because that's all, as we all know, that's one of the toughest positions in football. Uh, just looking for how they respond, how they lead, who can grow and minimize mistakes and play clean football. At the end of the day, we got enough players. Uh, we have a real kind of wind things down and tie things up when necessary. But right now, we want to challenge their minds. And eventually, we'll get to just some basics and, and kind of evaluate who's going to put us in that best situation to uh, lead this football team. And it may be more than one quarterback. I don't know that. So it's an it's a, um, evaluation process every single day. We look at every single rep, and uh, you know I, I like to see that our quarterbacks have taken the bull by the horn, so to speak, with uh, meeting extra, and you know you see them in the building just as much as coaches. So I am encouraged by seeing that. I would say, has anyone or two of them stood out so far? I, uh, I wouldn't say anybody stood out. They're all working really hard and you know, trying to grasp the offense, and it's going to be a day to day. Uh, it's going to be a day to day. Evaluation too, and you know you can't get too high, can't get too low. You just gotta find the quarterback or quarterbacks that's going to be consistent. You could uh, hear Coach Shaney's voice from the parking lot this mm -hmm. morning. Um, what does it mean for you to have? Uh, what does it mean for you and this team to have someone like him on this staff with so much experience like that? Uh, I think you know him, Coach Jackson, uh, provide a wealth of knowledge, experience. Uh, they know exactly what uh, championship football looks like. They know what it sounds like, and when things aren't done correctly, uh, that's what Cheney's job is. And we want to get more contagious with some of our other coaches, um, and I think with him taking the lead with that, the way we split practice, it allows our other coaches to kind of have their voice too. Uh, but I'm very appreciative of uh, Coach Cheney, and I know it's going to be a fine job. You've been a part of a lot of fall practices at different places. Things can get taken with a grain of salt, but what for you and this staff constitutes a successful fall camp? Um, just like I said, we're going to grow and connect as a team, make sure the entire organization knows each other's wives, make sure we develop those habits of being on time, uh, being punctual, how to do a walkthrough, take notes in meetings, uh, how to watch film, and then ultimately, how do we develop mental and physical toughness? So we can check the box on all three of those things that we started the theme out for um, last night in our team meeting, and it'll be a successful camp. Whereas quarterbacks, you know, one can be on the field at a time in a game, usually there's a lot of running back quality depth or running back room, and those guys might all get to see the field in some form. I just feel like the depth there and the competition there, they could all end up playing a role in the fall. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. I do like the running back room. Definitely improved. Uh, it's really good competition there. Uh, I don't think we lose a whole lot in 
one of them that goes out and no one comes in. It's just uh, learning and growing the offense, <laughs> learning the details. Uh, then we got to find some continuity up front. Uh, you know, we work in a lot of different groups, so we're not really worried about the continuity so much right now. It's, we're just really trying to get evaluation and reps and allow these guys to play football and talk and push through the heat and um, just develop our mental and physical toughness through these elements. One of the mottos of camp has been give 1% better every day. I know when it comes to something like that, it may be a little hard, but could you define what you mean by that as a coach, getting getting 1% better every single day? Yeah, so if I made whatever mistake I made the previous day, if I can correct that one mistake, that's at least 1% better. If there are going to be some recall uh, plays, situations, if I could not make that same mistake if I made one the prior day, then you got 1% better. Made some additions on the defensive side that are not new to football, but new to Georgia State. But do you think having a fair amount of seniors coming in from the transfer portal, you're not starting from ground zero necessarily, but you got a lot of guys who played a lot of football as well. Yeah, that's going to be up to Coach Chair to kind of get everyone on the same page, you know, getting in a routine, establishing our practice habits, calls. Uh, and it goes back to the same thing how do we watch film? How do we maximize our walkthroughs? Uh, just learning the details, checks, with uh, the evolving offenses and what we're going to see in our schedule. Uh, our defense has to be able to adapt and communicate and just taking those fundamental baby steps in that process. Uh, Coach Sher has a plan with that and um, just really eager to see how they grow. And it's the same thing, like finding the, the 11 that's going to start and find those other 11 role players and defining those guys' role through camp. Let's talk about Coach Jackson, just the short time he's been here already, just the influence he's had on you, kind of how to learn how to delegate things uh, for the first time. Uh, yeah, Coach Jackson has been a, a voice. Uh, I definitely ask him things. He definitely gives me uh, feedback when needed. Uh, like I said, I'm very grateful to have him. Uh, he actually did a, a presentation yesterday about two-minute offense coming from the NFL. We don't have a new two-minute warning, so um, we had a about an hour seminar kind of on philosophical thoughts and move forward. How can we get better in those situations? And that was Doug McGee, a new head coach of Georgia State football. As the team opened up fall camp on August 1st, touched on a few things there. Think about what Coach McGee, down to business, really uh, straightforward, which we appreciate in the media. Uh, but it's, uh, it was the first day of practice and really not much to take away from it as far as the depth chart. As you mentioned, he has a rep chart. And I was one asking about the quarterback position because everyone loves to talk about the quarterback. But they do have some guys, Alvin Gibson, the transfer from Georgia Tech, who has seen some playing time uh, on the, at, at the collegiate level. And then some other guys who are – kind of uh, some incoming freshmen and more. So core acquisition is pretty wide open. Interesting coaching staff for Coach Chaney, obviously Hugh Jackson, uh, guys with extensive coaching uh, careers and, and you know resumes. So that's been really good for Georgia State to have those guys on campus. But I said, it's just the early stages of the season or, or the fall camp. I think over the next week or two when we go to practices, we'll have a little bit more of a breakdown of certain players that are standing out, but really, Outside of a handful of maybe two, three starting positions, it's a pretty wide open setup as far as who's going to play. Obviously, a new coaching staff, a lot of transfers, graduations of guys like Darren Granger from the quarterback position from last year, who was the you know one of the top quarterbacks in the Sun Belt Conference. Obviously, he's matriculated. So it's just a wide open roster breakdown or depth chart for Georgia State football. So we'll be looking forward to following that and keeping up with it over the next few weeks before they open the season at Georgia Tech on August 31st. Thank you for watching this latest edition of Fighting Peaches. And to catch up on the latest of what we have going on, always go to sportsinquire.net, premier site for news and notes in the world of sports. You can also go to our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, slash X. Just look us up under Sports Inquire. And then finally, Go to our audio and video hosts such as YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, and more. Until next time, good fight, good night, and be safe.